Today, we're gonna to take a look at PowerDirector's pan and zoom tool feature. This thing is laughable, it is horrible to use. Now, if you have used it, I feel your frustration and your anger. If you haven't used it, I highly recommend you watch this video tutorial to see what you're in for. Let's take a look. <laughs> I'm Harvey Roberts for Permanent Tourist in Helsinki. I thought I'd try out the pan and zoom tool. Now this thing is just horrible. It comes with its own tutorial as well for video stabilization. There's nothing on there about pan and zooming. <laughs> now I think this was first done somewhere in around 1700s maybe because it is just awful to use. I'm going to show you what it's like and then I'm going to show you a workaround so you can use it in your own video projects and we're going to finesse it a little bit as well. As always watch out for tips and tricks throughout the video tutorial. Let's open up PowerDirector and let's laugh at the pan and zoom feature. <laughs> okay let's import video. I'm going to use this one that I used just in last week's video because Let's track this down on the timeline. The reason being is because it's got an area where I want to zoom in and show you how this works. Now the area we're going to look for is starts at around about 32. So if I just drag this along to get to 32 on the timer, it's about there. So my mouse is just touching on the effects here and I want it to zoom in on this area right here. So 32 seconds or in the current time, if you look right down on the right hand side, follow my mouse here, right down here, 32, good. And it ends at 101, one, somewhere around there about, as you can see, if I just move it just a touch, a few frames at a time, you can see I'm, I'm actually dragging down to drop it down on the timeline. So it's looking at 0101 zero, one, zero, one on the current time. Excellent. So make sure you, this, your clip is selected, double click it or click on edit and we're going to go into pan and zoom. Now the pan and zoom, just at the right hand side, it's got this little blue marker here and if you open this up, it tells you what it, you can do with pan and zoom. Pan on the camera in a specific duration and zoom in on portions of the video or image with motion effect templates. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, let's click on pan and zoom and let's show you what this is all about. Now if yours comes up as a little screen like this, do like normal windows and just maximize it. So there's not a lot in here to actually look at. So if you just look on the right hand side, we've got this little viewport here that we can see here. We've got an aspect ratio which we can change, which means that we're changing, it changes this aspect ratio. I'm not going to change that. We've got a positions and some scales and right hand side of the scale, they've got this little lock that says maintain aspect ratio. We're going to remove the aspect ratio because I want to show you this and we can rotate it. And that's it. There's nothing else in here. There's no motion templates and nothing else that you can do in here. And on the bottom right here, we've got our keyframe where we keyframe it. Now this is on the left hand side at the keyframe, there's a default one set in. You can't move this, you can't delete it, it's it's the first one in. So let's drag our playhead along because we want it to go to 32. Or we can just type it in here on the clock. I'm going to type it in just to show you. Press enter. And we've got exactly the same view as we had. Here's my mouse right here touching the effects. That's what we want. So if you go down on the bottom left, it says, it says had a keyframe. So let's add our keyframe in there. So basically what we've done is we've locked this position here like this from the first keyframe to the second keyframe. Now let's just go to the next frame. If you click on this or use the period on your keyboard and one, two, and I can't add a keyframe. Wait a minute. One, two. No, that's so we've gone cut four keyframes have gone in position one, two, still can't add a keyframe. One, two, three, four, five, no, still can't add a keyframe. I'm gonna drag this along because as you can see this keyframe's still red. That means that's why we can't add a keyframe because we're still on this selection. So drag the playhead along and you'll see it 
Judas, for some reason, I can't understand that. So now it's yellow, and I'm going to go back some keyframes just so it, as soon as it turns red, there, and then yellow, red, there you go. So now it's not selected. So we can add a keyframe. But wait a minute, before we add a keyframe, if you look right on the right hand side, follow my mouse along to the timer, it's now at 40. And we started at 32, so it's added eight seconds from one keyframe to where we can add a new keyframe. That's it's crazy, what's that all about? So now we're gonna to have to start messing around with mathematics and trying to figure this out. So let's drag this keyframe now back to 20, was it 32? So it's gonna be 24, right? somewhere there now you, you can't move this anymore so using your mouse it jumps all over the place i'm going to leave it at 2407 because that's about as best as i'm going to get with this and then i'm going to drag this until i get to about 32 so if i jump this at timer and type in 32 zero and press enter it won't let me add a keyframe still because this is at 2407. So let's add 3207. And we still can't add a keyframe here on the bottom. See that? It's still red. And the reason being is because it adds an extra 2.2 seconds on this. So this needs to be 09. And now we can add a keyframe. <laughs> this is just crazy. Okay, let's add a keyframe. Uh, it gets better, trust me. So we're going to add a keyframe. So we've locked our keyframe from one to two. So now the third keyframe, we, we want to make this so it zooms in on this area, right on the left hand top corner here. Now on the right hand side, I'm going to remove the maintain aspect ratio because I want to check, I want to resize this how I want it. So there's no aspect ratio on this. I'm just going to drag this right hand side and drag it in and, hey, wait a minute, look at the left hand side. That's moving as well. And the aspect ratio is, is off. What's this? Okay, well, well, we'll leave it like that then. Let's just drop this down a little. Oh, and the bottom's coming in as well now. Look at that. Weird. So. I'll leave it at that. Now, right in the center here, there's a little circle. If you put my mouse over it, see my mouse changes. Click and hold and drag it, and then we're going to drag it and set it. And <laughs> that's about, I'd, I'd, I don't want it to be like that, actually. I want it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to drag it up there, and I'm going to snap it into position. Now, that's about the best position I'd like it to be. I want it to zoom into that position. So after we've done that now, we want it to go to 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. I'm going to, I've typed it in, and now I'm going to add in a new keyframe. So now we've locked this position from 3 to 4 to this position. And now, of course, we're going to have to do the same again, which is it's still 8 seconds. So we're going to have to add 8 seconds to this before we can add another keyframe which is crazy. So let's move this back. So it was 0101. So this is going to be 53. So let's move this keyframe back down to about 53. Let's see how accurate I can get it. Nothing. 5209 is about the best. 5310. That's it. <laughs> I'll keep it there. And then I'm going to drag the player along and try to get the player to go to zero one zero one and we've still got it selected it's still red so let's add some zero nine at the ending it's still not going let's try 20 and now we can add a keyframe this and you can see i've already started coming down i wanted it to start before that but let's end it there so that is what we've got now so we've, we've started We've got our zoom out and now we need to do our zoom out. So to zoom back out again, but so this keyframe now needs to go bigger. So we have to put this one back in to place here into the center. 
and then re-spread this out until it all snaps into place like so. So now we've got our ending. So here's the beginning. This is what we've got. And it, it starts there. And then we're going to zoom in. Hey, hey, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted. That's... It was supposed to be full. What's happened here? Let's have a look at this one. Oh, that one's... That is weird. Look at that. So let's reshape this. Bring it back up to where it was. That's where it's supposed to be. And now you can use these little markers here. Select next frame. So let's use those and see. So that's better. But now, uh, wait a minute. What's happened now? So look at the fit down on the right hand side here. I'm going to take it to 50%. And now it's gone way bigger than it should be. So let's drag this back down till it snaps back onto where it should be again. And then we'll go back a keyframe. Oh, and now it's it's not, it's not maintaining its aspect ratio that I'm keeping it at. It just keeps jumping all over the place. <coughs> that is just unworkable, crazy. I'm going to click cancel because that is just stupid. So I'm going to get out of that. So I'm going to show you a workaround for this. So let's go to 32 on our timeline right here, like so. This is where we started. Now I'm going to cut Control T on my keyboard. I'm going to cut this right where it is now. Now we can't put in 0101 because this keyframe now is shorter than what it was before. So we're going to have to drag our playhead along until we find where we want it to be. And it was about somewhere there that you can see it's about right there. It starts to bring the video down. I'm going to go there. Now, if I leave my mouse over my playhead, it says 0101. But here on the timeline, it says here at the current time, it's 2905. So I like it there. I'm going to keep it there. And I'm going to press Control T on my keyboard again to, to cut it. So now we've got this one clip here, separate. I'm going to double click on this clip and I'm going to go back into pan and zoom. Let it open up, let it do its thing. It's got it down on the bottom. I'm not going to lock and unlock. I'm going to leave this locked, the, ra the aspect ratio. We're going to keep it as it is. I'm not teaching anything else. We're just going to go here. I'm going to drag this just down until it gets past that first that first one that's just weird and um, it's on red and now it's there so we can add a keyframe so now I'm going to add a keyframe right here and I'm going to just drag this like so and then I'm going to drag this up until it gets where I want it to be that's absolutely perfect for me I like that now, because we're using this clip, the whole clip is the zoom in, is in this area, the zoom. We can literally just drag this now all the way to the end, like so. And just as we start to see it, move the video down. It's right at the ending. It's right there. I'm going to just pull that back a little bit and I'm going to add another keyframe. Now, if you wanted, we could use this one, which says duplicate the keyframe. And it will duplicate it from that. So if you click on duplicate keyframe, it tells you from the previous keyframe. So let's do that. So this is now the same as that one. Now all we do is just move the playhead along like so. Take it almost to the end. Um, about there, I would say. I'm going to add a keyframe. And then I'm going to just put this back to where it was at the beginning. Like that it's snapped in now when we check these see they stay the same cool right so let's click OK so now we've got our zoom in effect so if we deselect everything move our playhead just slightly before and then let's have a look at our new zoom effect effects and there we go it zooms in Click on Excellent. Let's drag this along so it's near the ending right. and let's see it zoom back out. Left mouse click, press and, and there we go. Drag it down. Very cool, right? Now if we select this clip that we've got, we can add effects to this as well. So double click on this 
clip now and if you go all the way up to the top here if you've clicked on edit it says animation so if you click on animation we can add a pop in so it actually pops in or stomps or whatever you want to use you can actually have a fade in i'm just going to use a pop in now i don't like having a pop out because it, it, it's annoying but the pop in seemed to be seemed to uh, i found it enjoyable let's deselect it and then just replay it again so you can see it popping the there we go <laughs> <laughs> and drag it all the way along to the end like so and you'll just see it fade back out very cool you don't have to put the pop in. you don't have to do the animation i just put it in there to show you that you can actually do it and you can add all kinds of effects because it's a separate clip and everything else and if you want to go back to your pan and zoom there's a green little marker here just click on that go to pan and zoom and it takes you all the way back in and you can mess around if you want to do some more <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to come back in here again, but <laughs> that's it. And that's how to finish off our pan and zoom. So there you go. That's the pan and zoom feature. Absolutely horrible. Give it a try yourself and see what you can come up with. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to click subscribe. Give us a like. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.